Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxadian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the 14th day of September, we celebrate the feast of the universal exaltation of the precious and life-giving cross. St. Constantine the Great was preparing to march on Rome to confront his rival, Maxentius, when the sign of the life-giving cross appeared to him in the midday sky, surrounded with the inscription, By this sign you shall conquer. He therefore had his standards adorned with the sign of the cross and won a brilliant victory that enabled him to assume power over the entire Roman world and to assure the triumph of Christianity. In the 20th year of his reign, in 326, Constantine sent his mother, St. Helen, to Jerusalem to venerate the holy places and to find the site of the holy sepulcher and of the cross that was covered by rubble from building works done at the time of Hadrian when the city had been enlarged. Relying upon the oral tradition of the faithful, St. Ellen found the precious trophy along with the crosses on which the two thieves had hung and the three nails that had nailed the life-giving body of the Savior, but she could no, see no way of telling which was the cross of Christ. The healing of a dying woman at the touch of the holy wood enabled Macarius, the patriarch of Jerusalem, to identify the cross of Christ, for no miracle was worked by the two other crosses. Then the queen and her whole court worshipped the holy cross and kissed it with great devotion. The people, who had gathered in large numbers at the place, also wanted to share in this grace, or at least so ardent was their love for Christ, to see from afar the instrument of our redemption. So the patriarch mounted the ambo, and taking the cross in both hands, raised it on high so that all could see it, while the crowd exclaimed, Kyrie son. This was the occasion of the institution in all the churches of the exaltation of the precious cross, not only in memory of the event, but also to show forth this instrument of shame as having become our pride and our joy. By recalling the action of the patriarch and by elevating the cross at the four points of the compass to the chant of Kyrie son, Christians show today that, in mounting the cross, Christ desired to reconcile all things to himself uniting creation in all its height and depth, and so its farthest bounds in his body, so that we may have access through him to the Father. There was also an icon during the reading uh, from the Codex Pantocrator II on Mount Athos from the 12th century. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.